Hey everyone, so I'm back here with the uh, Beaver 20 kilogram melting furnace propane thingy majiggy that I did a video on, basically an open box video. And if you haven't seen that, that's probably up there, I think. Um, now, I've had a couple of people reach out to me to ask if it can melt steel, can it melt iron? So I really don't know. I haven't had a chance to try it yet, so I figured, this video, let's try it. Now, based on Viver, what Viver says, um, this can do basically the mid range of what can melt steel based on what I've researched. So maybe it can, so let's give it a try. Now, one thing I am switching out is I'm not actually gonna use the whole 12 kilogram crucible. I picked up a four kilogram crucible from Princess Auto and I'm gonna actually give that a try because I really don't wanna heat up this big thing for just such a small amount of steel. Now, I'm not gonna try and make wart steel with this. This is just solely to see if it can melt. And what I'm gonna be using as my steel is mild steel, um, quarter inch round. And I also got some regular head 12, 10, regular head 10 uh, horseshoe nails. I'm gonna throw those in too, just to see how it's gonna work. So, I'm gonna set that down, get it fired up, and uh, let's see if it can melt it. Mm. So I guess yes 
they can melt steel. Put that back. Wonder if I can melt it all the way. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but, yeah, um, it melts it, kind of. Yeah. So, as you can see, the refactory did not hold up very well with that test. And the fire brick at the bottom is completely cracked. So, can I melt steel? Well, not really. <laughs> so, I, go, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, actually, in interesting one to film so you know um yeah can the Viver 20 kilogram melting furnace melt steel no okay well thanks for watching guys see you next time <laughs>